Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you guys how to scrap a Cisco cable box. If you recall from the last video where I scrapped a DirecTV cable box, which unfortunately didn't come with a card, but they do come with them if it did have one in it. Um, this one instead has a multi-stream cable card, which is underneath a cage protected by a cage so this is probably something that was already meant put into the box and if you were to remove it you would be breaking the warranty because there is a green tab there that um, tells the person who's repairing it if they've tampered with it or not so to scrap one of these all you gotta do is just remove the um, screws on the side here there's one there there's a couple over here plus some bolts that hold this in place a whole bunch of smaller screws and then the ones on the side other side as well all right so just wanted to let you guys know that in this type of cable box you have to be careful because some of these do have tamper proof bit screws there are the Torx tamper proof where there's like a Torx bit but then there's a pin in the middle which you'll need a special screwdriver for but they're fairly easy to get and they're very inexpensive they're just a bit more pricier but still not that high of a cost so I've already removed all the screws at the back however I still need to remove these two bolts which I just use one of these um, nippers here so I just go in grab that um, bolt and twist it usually they um, are pretty easy to remove after you twist them once they do um, screw on pretty tight at first so there's a piece of brass and then a second piece here Okay, so now I've removed that piece. Next, I will remove the cable card screw here. It's a multimedia streaming card. Here. It's just a Phillips head. There we go. Now, just peel that right off. There's a nice piece of steel. And then, all you gotta do is just pull this straight out. And there we go. That's the multi stream card here. Power key multi stream. There's some nice gold plated steel there. Some brazing. And we're gonna crack this thing open later. Put that to the side. And so now. We are greeted with two more tabber proof screws. That's what they look like. So they look just like ordinary um, screws. However, they have a pin. And this is what you use. So you can see there's a hole in there. But it's just an ordinary Torx bit. So we just got that. Sorry, my our dog and our cat always like to play and fight all the time. So... Yeah, make a lot of noise. So now, just remove that screw there. Flip it over here. And just slide that out. It's keeping it in. It's very strange. There's nothing holding it in at all. And yet, it does not want to come up. Looks like I'll just do this. There we go. 
there's a piece of steel. And so now we got this board here. All these, um, I got a whole set of these from one house, but it rained, and so now it's like all oh, water damage, so I couldn't get anything out of it. But they did have another option of adding a connector there. But they didn't decide to. They decided to use a multi stream card instead. They even had this pre cut there, right for it in the front. But anyway, they didn't do that, so that's alright. So now, what I like to do is like the previous one, just remove this tab here. Oh, wait. So two more screws there, one on both sides, so I'm going to remove those. Alright, so I've removed those. And so now this whole thing should come right out. I'm going to undo this tab again on this side. And now the other side here. It's not wanting to come out. Okay, there we go. So now there's a big piece of plastic. And it's like a vacuum display here. These guys are pretty neat. They use voltage and different voltages allow different parts to be illuminated. Use this voltage to light certain parts. It's interesting. So, now what I like to do here is now remove the all the screws that hold this board in place. Looks like it's a one board solution in here. So we're gonna remove all those screws. There's tons of them. Alright, so I've removed all those screws. And so now this whole board should come free because it's pretty loose. And now this back cover comes straight out. There's a piece of steel. And then this board just slides right out. So now, once again, while well, I was stopped the tape, I was, uh, I just discharged that thing. Like the previous video, I just got my screwdriver that was insulated and just stuck in between the two terminals on the back or even on the top since it's exposed. And so now, um, we got this board out. So, underneath this cover here there's a couple more um, things we want to get off it um, so I'm just gonna undo all those little tabs it's gonna take a while because there's like there's like ten of them there's two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn. There we go. This, board, this piece should come right out now. Excuse me, you need to come out right now. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. That's what's inside there, lots of surface mount technology there, lots of chips, monolithic ceramics, and such. Now you got a piece of steel. And we got a little aluminum heat sink there. It should come out pretty easily. There we go. So we got ourselves a little chip right there. Has a little gold 
tip, so that's pretty nice. And another piece there has a gold tip in the middle, which is unusual. And we've got ourselves a relay there, which contains some silver. I'll have another video on how to take that apart. And let's see how I do on time. All right, so I still have a lot of time left, so I might as well just show it. So what's inside one of those things is I just get my big red wire cutters. Pull that right out. So now inside we got a big spool of copper there. And then on the very right hand side here, we got ourselves two contacts. One of them is um, really easy to push and the other one's really hard. But anyway, so there you have it. So both of these contacts here, the quick little bumps, are both silver. You can pull that off. There we go. So, that won't focus most likely, but that piece um, looks really white compared to the orange, so that piece does have some silver on it, as well as that piece. So both of these do have silver, so you want to put that to the side and collect it, and then you can process it later with nitric acid. If you can but if not you can always just use some use acid peroxide on it so anyway that's some uh, silver in there and of course you got some copper and a whole bunch of the circuits on there circuitry does contain some gold and other metals like aluminum for the heat sinks there and some steel for the casings and ferrite, ferrite, you know, cores and outer casings for transformers and inductors and a whole bunch of other metals you might have not known about it. I don't even know about. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you found that useful. Just to recap, you got some silver in the oscillator there. There's a couple oscillators on the board in the silver relay. Um, gold on the little uh, integrated circuits there, as well as those that big um, green thing, as well as this piece which came out, that one with the gold tip, and also in the multi-stream card. So that's pretty much all I have for the main board. But that's that thing with your steel. So now let's take apart this guy here. It's multi-stream card, which will be in our next video. So I hope you found this video useful. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. It's the e Man signing out.